This is my 1992 Kawasaki Vulcan 750 old bike. Um, I got it basically almost on a tray for free, basically almost. Uh, the problem was the carburetors. I fixed that, and I still having some issues. But then I found out that this wire right here from the spark plug on the rear cylinder it was bad on the inside. You can't even see it, but it was broken somehow on the inside. I tape it together because I already got the new ones anyways, but I got some other issues that I got to deal with it right now. But that's why after I did that, hey, she was running really smooth and with a lot of power. Um, right now, I removed the baffles. Um, this is going to be gone. I'm going to put straight pipe to the back. I probably got to rejet the carburetors after that. Um, same over here. I was having some issues with the batteries. And I thought my battery was bad, but it wasn't. And then what I did my test on the stator. Yeah, my stator was um I put it in ohms and it was it was cross. I mean it was doing contact somehow. The guy who put it, it's not even that old, but he, he didn't have no knowledge about this. And when he told me he did it, I was like, Oh shoot. So that was the that's the guy that had it before and then I traded for another bike that I didn't want. I'm in Philadelphia and I'm in Florida right now. But yeah, the carburetors are done. Everything, I probably got to rejet it again, you know, after I change the exhaust. But the problem is the stator. Um, I don't want to cut like some people do. And then you have particles of metal, all that four hours labor, five, six hours labor, whatever. And then $90 plus the stator and all that. I'd rather buy the stator and, you know, take out the motor. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my time, no rush, and that way I could paint that motor. So it's a 1992 Kawasaki Vulcan 750. I got the headlight coming up soon. It's a projector for 30 bucks. I got it brand new, and it's got a projector on top on the bottom, and it's black matte, and uh, the speedometer and all that. It's going to be digital. Also, I changed this. I'm gonna change this wire right here for the speedometer. They sell one just like that, but it's got a wire harness, and it's for digital. And it's only like eight bucks in eBay. So, and like thirty something dollars or forty something dollars on on the speedometer. Yeah, it's a little bit upgrade. Um, changing the handlebar too. I'm gonna to put a straight one. Um, this is a seven eighths one. I got one the other day, but it was a one inch. And it didn't work. Uh, I didn't know that, so I forgot to ask them. I bet I got it. Um, I'm gonna be putting pretty soon to sell. But yeah, this is a good bike. I like them. Reliable. I mean, they're pretty good. Low maintenance. It just they didn't take care of it in the beginning. I painted the wheels too, the real one. But right now I'm gonna take out that motor and the exhaust and paint all that and paint the engine too and the motor, and you know make it look pretty decent and nice. It's an old bike, but I like it. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe, please, and share. I mean, if you got any questions, I messed with this bike uh, a few times already, so I'll find a few issues. Maybe you got any questions, let me know. I'll be more, you know, than happy to help anyone, you know, like some others help online with their videos. But I'm going to be showing some process, maybe if it's a pain in the butt to get that engine out, the motor out. I mean, so we'll see. I work on other bikes before. I'm not a mechanic, but. I work on gears, I mean, carburetors, clutches, everything on the bike already, in different bikes. But this is my first work, Vulcan. So, take care, you know, and, and to the next video, next part. Bye.